What's going on, my wonderful renegades? This is your boy Retro Queen, and we're back up in this thing with another Ren reaction, man. And this time he featured on Chris Webby's baggage. And I don't know nothing about Chris Webby, um, but I, I know he got to be a great artist if he got Ren up here. But um, I don't know if we got country, rock, pop, hip hop. Like I don't, I don't know what type of genre this is. So I'm finna go ahead and click it. We finna get into it. See what type of magic they about to cook up, man. Purgatory Pub. Like a bar? Falling by the wayside with these habits I keep shaking. No jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. Trying to find the way, but ain't no way back where I've gone. No me with the same old baggage in my closet. Can't save me, y'all. They say I'm lost. I can't even start to count all of the days I've lost. After nights of losing count of all the drinks I bought. Self medicating just to get the weight I lost. Only starts with a shot, then it's four in the row. Next thing you in the bathroom, scoring some blow. See, it is what it is, and it's all that I know. But I'm getting to a fork in the road. I know the way it's been, I take it then. Feel I gotta start learning to pray again. I try to wash away the sins, but they like tattoos on my skin. I've been sitting here scrubbing them, trying to cover them. Hold on before we get into this right here. Cause we, we it, it seems like we got a lot of different details that's going on in this one. Um, and right off the bat, I love how they got this black and white or this grayscale look. You know, it's it just giving us a real cinematic feel. But um, I, I wanna, I wanna go back and and take a look at a couple things, though, cause it, I don't know, I I think that's Ren that's singing, um, you know, kind of kind of with that undertone sound in the beginning and kind of throughout. But but then I'm I'm guessing that the other guy, that's Chris Webby, when he started, it seemed like like I could still hear Ren too. So I don't know if they mixed their vocals together. And just um, you know, just kind of ran it together or not though. Let me see. Let's see. Falling by the wayside with these habits I keep shaking. See right there, falling by the wayside with these habits I keep shaking. It's almost like I I can hear a lot of ring right here, but then I hear another bass um, like some more bass that's like a. I guess like a more baritone voice, deeper voice right up under that. So it seemed like they got both of their voices on um, mixed together. And by the wayside with these habits, I keep shaking. No jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. Trying to find the way. I love that. No way back where I've gone. So I want to I want to point that out too. So, no so right here on this clock, I seen this certain uh symbolism right here. But then when the guy was staring at the clock, um, I, I think that was a Nazi a Nazi tattoo, if I ain't mistaken. But I, I could be wrong. But it seemed like it had this same symbol. Um, you know, of course it was two of them that was kind of uh crossed over. But I, I don't know that that was just something that I wanted to point out because um. I know a lot of times, especially with Ren, I don't I don't know too much about Chris, but I know with Ren, he like to put a lot of those Easter eggs throughout different videos and stuff like that, and uh, you know, just kind of see if we gonna pick up on them throughout it. Trying to find the way, but they ain't no way back where I've gone. No me with the same old baggage in my closet. I like that. Can't say me, y'all. They say I'm lost. I can't right even start too. to count all of the days I've lost. After nights of losing count of all the drinks I bought. Self medicating just to get the weight I lost. Only starts with a shot, then it's four in a row. Next thing you in the bathroom, scoring some blow. See, it is what it is, and it's all that I know. But I'm getting to a fork in the road. I know the. It's like it's like so much happening. You start with one drink, and then before you know it, you up to four drinks, and then before you know that, you scoring some blow. Like you you don't you keep you you start on a on a lower level, but then you 
you keep progressing higher and higher and then the guy walked through the front door i don't know if that's heroin or not but it, he had like some um uh, either heroin or meth I, I i can't remember which one but he had some marks on his arms and stuff you know he walked in and had that look on his face held his hand in the air and it's like you know just kind of giving that that same symbolic meaning how how things just keep progressing once you you know you're going through a lot of things and then you you start off with something small as in you know one simple shot and then it just it just takes off and you don't know what happened after that just to get the weight all off only starts with a shot then it's four in the row next thing you in the bathroom scoring some blow see it is what it is and it's all that i know but i'm getting to a fuck in the row i know the way it's been i take it then feel i gotta start learning to pray again i try to watch Away the sins, but they like tattoos on my skin. I've been mm. sitting here scrubbing them, trying to cover them, but I'm stuck with them, struggling, drunk and stumbling while I'm juggling. Habits that are both the cause and the cure of my suffering. I know it's becoming a little troubling. Falling by mm. the wayside with these habits, I keep shaking. New jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. What did she dial? Two zero four. What was that? Falling by the wayside with these habits, I keep shaking. New jeans with the same old. Two zero four six five. Hmm. What's that? And then she got the flip phone. So I'm guessing like a flip phone, Nokia, or Motorola, or something like that. Taking it back, man. That that's a trip down memory lane. But I'm wondering what's the symbolic meaning of her typing that in right there too. Hmm. And then she got like. I don't, know, I don't know if that's supposed to be like uh uh like some blood or something on the forehead or something right there. These habits I keep shaking. New jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket. Yeah. She's taking pictures too. Trying to find the way, but they ain't no way back where I've gone. New me with the same old baggage in my closet. Mm. Bloody red mud, they whisper and murmur. How did rain get here? Nature or nurture? I nurture my nature. Divine misbehavior. Reaching for a bottle, thought the spirit was my savior. Choppy. Hold on, but talk that talk, Red. <laughs> It'll been a minute since I heard it too, man. It's refreshing. Oh. Bloody red mud, they whisper mm. and murmur. How did rain get here? Come on. Nature or nurture? I nurture my nature. The vine. See, I, I like that right there, cause he, you know, it's like people talking, a lot of chatter and stuff in the background. Like, how did how did Ren get here? Like, he just kind of popped, you know, popped up out of nowhere. Like, what, where have he been this whole time? He might be an industry plant. So many people saying all type of different stuff, and it's like, I I didn't I didn't get here by you know what, what they say by happenstance or you know by mistake or nothing like that. I really put in the work to be able to get to where I'm at, man. And that's something that I say about artists all the time. Um, like they, you, you will see them, you know, like kind of, you know, blow up overnight in a sense, but it's not necessarily that, that they blew up overnight. It's just, they don't put in so much time and they time just finally here now. But if you go back to a lot of their older music, a lot of their older work and stuff, you'll see that they've been putting in time for years leading up to this point. They just, Finally, they got that breakthrough. Finally, they got that recognition that they, that you know, that they don't work hard and they so much deserve to get it too, man. Talk to him. Red mud, they whisper and murmur. How did rain get here? Nature or nurture? I nurture my nature. The vine is behavior. Reaching for a bottle, thought the spirit was my savior. Chopping on my brain cells when I'm reaching for the part. But part's the only shot I got to stop this ticking clock. Tick tick counting down the minutes till that something in me pops. And resurrects a disconnect that helps me self destruct. And when I'm down on my luck, wasted. Hold on, y'all. So I. Cause y'all know I told you I love all of that like all of that small stuff that you don't you don't you you pay attention to but you ain't really just locked in on it but when he was singing it was like you could hear like a dun 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 and as he was doing as he was uh, making that sound you could see like different little stuff boom 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 you know kind of jumping around and then the same thing with the TikTok on the clock you could see it hitting too and it, it's just like a lot of those little immersive effects and stuff that they add. 
they small, but they they stand out a lot at the same time and just keep drawing you into the music video. I, I love when they when they do that that kind of stuff. <laughs> Bloody red mud, they whisper and murmur How the rain get here? Nature or nurture? I nurture my nature Divine misbehavior Reaching for a bottle Thought the spirit was my savior Chopping on my brain cells when I'm reaching for the part But part is the only shot I got to stop this ticking clock Tick tick counting down the minutes Till that something in me pops And resurrects a disconnect that helps me self-destruct And when I'm down on my luck Wasted, brain dead, vacant Faded, I get wasted, you get brain dead, mind so bacon, I'm so faded, all the time, wasted, another line, brain dead, feeling so bacon, leaving on faded, complicated in house patient, wasted, brain dead, bacon, faded, dripping with my back against the wall, caught inside a rising tide, I fall, taken by the madness of it all, I'm falling, falling by the wayside with these habits, I keep shaking. New jeans with the same old baggy in my pocket, yeah. Trying to find a way, but ain't no way back where I've gone. I like that. I like that Hollywood spat me out. <laughs> but I'm wondering too, though, because it, it seems like we we still got some type of symbolic meaning with that clock. Like, they, everybody keep looking at the clock. I'm seeing different times on the clock, too, so... It, it gotta be something that's working with that clock, man. And then you can hear him talking about, the, you know, counting down the time, counting down the hours, minutes, all of this stuff throughout the music too. So it, I'm wondering what's the correlation between the two. And then even Buddy that was sitting down, you know, they, they kind of zoomed in onto his wristwatch as well. And Ren wearing a watch too, as we can see right here. My pocket, yeah. Trying to find a way, but ain't no way back where See now, now I done got confused. Was this like a like a two part, you know, two different parts? Cause uh, let's see, it just cut to this scene right here, and then like you can see that they done got in a car accident. They got ran out on the stretcher and stuff on, you know, taking care of him. And then Chris sitting on the inside looked like he might be unconscious or you know either passed away or something like that. I don't, I don't know right now, like you know what they trying to portray, but. Based off of that, it seemed like, you know, they could be, you know, just, just kind of speaking on that time and not being able to get that time back. And, you know, I don't want to say time wasted, but it's like, you know, once that time is gone, you, you can no longer get that back. You can't backtrack. You can't reverse, you know, reverse time or nothing like that. I'm wondering is, is that because I, I know I was asking about the whole clock and all the stuff, like all the different themes and stuff. So. I'm wondering, is that what they all, you know, kind of tying it into? Yeah. And then you see right there, they had him up against the wall, you know, kind of doing a time lapse too. So no, normally that's something right there when they kind of, you know, playing with the time and, and all tying it all in right there too. Trying to find a way, but it ain't no way back where I've gone. Ain't no way back where I've gone. Knew me with the same old baggage in my closet. Hmm. Purgatory. Forget about it, Frankie. <laughs> 
Dang. Ah, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Research department, I'm going to need y'all on this. I'm, I'm trying to put together a piece of thing, you know, a couple of um, pieces of things, but I ain't really just quite 100% sure which direction I want to go with it. But it got to be something that we got tied in with the, you know, with the whole time. And then them showing that, uh, that scene at the end where they got into the accident too. And then Ren doing, you know, going through the time lapse on him, I guess in that hallway or wherever he was at. So we got something playing with, you know, playing off of the whole time scheme and everything. But y'all make sure that y'all let me know down below in the comment section. So I'll probably go like once y'all, you know, once we talk about it, some down in the comment, I'll probably go back and rewatch it, you know, from a different perspective. But, um, I kind of got a, you know, an idea of what, which direction they're going with it. But like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive and stay smiling. And without further ado, this is your boy Retro Quinn. I'm out.